Now let me introduce you to K. Hariharan, who is the mind and architect behind the prestigious L.V. Prasad Film Institute. Before my shoot with him, I spoke to some of his students and wow, the respect he commands as a teacher and filmmaker is quite something. As a young boy in Mumbai, Hariharan grew up watching lots of Hindi cinema. He was captivated by the king of romance Rajesh Karna and completely enamored by the angry young man Amitabh Bachchan. By the time he was in the 12th standard, Hariharan the viewer was determined to turn into Hariharan the maker. I went to a film institute, I got selected there and then I did my three years. And in those three years, it was a very interesting time because um, I never anticipated that the Film Institute would change my directions so radically. And then you have Bergman and Godard and Kurosawa and Tarkovsky and Yancho. Ah, I said, wow, this is fantastic, you know. And so there is a big shift that the Institute makes from an audience-centered cinema to the author-centered cinema, you know. When Hariharan ventured into filmmaking, he literally authored every story pictorially. And that was the key. Every movie he made won him an award at prestigious film festivals. But the award-winning filmmaker couldn't call the shots as easily on the sets of Bollywood. In your premiere at a film festival like that, you think, okay, I have done it, I am a boss, I am now the author. Then you come back to Bombay and find that nobody wants to touch you with a barge pole, you know. You are on the streets traveling in a bus and a train, they're trying to sell ideas to people and they say, no, 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 we really don't want, really don't want to go to these Berlin festivals. No, 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 this is not Berlin, I'll make films for common people, please understand that. But nobody wanted to listen to me. Hariharan's portfolio include films that address social concerns. Even the children's movies he makes carries a serious message because he believes that such movies are about children and not for children. Apart from feature films, Hariharan is also credited with nearly 350 documentaries for television. He passes on his passion to the younger generation by teaching at the L.V. Prasad Film Institute. But here's the difference. He encourages them to think local and in that way, go global. What happens in these diploma films, I insist that they don't make it in English as much as possible. I mean, unless and until you want to do it in English, make it. But if you know that you come from Kerala, you come from Bombay, you come from Gujarat, you know, make it in your own language. You know? Because I think the crying need for Indian cinema is to regionalize itself. Because I think the term Bollywood has done so much damage, as if there is something called Indian cinema, you know, which is acceptable to everybody, which is not possible. There is an Indian cinema living in its regions. Hariharan is not just a filmmaker, he is a visionary too. At the moment, you look at all cinema theatres across the world, they have standardised themselves to one cinemascope format, which I think is the tragedy of cinema. That I have to always conceive my images and my dreams as a 1 is to 2.3 aspect ratio. And why should I do? I mean, painters could paint ceilings, you know, they could paint frescoes, if they could paint on the floor or anywhere, why can't filmmakers show their works anywhere? And digital cinema is perfectly capable of doing that, which means I should have imaging acquisition systems and projection systems which are multi-spatial, which can project on walls, on ceiling, on floors, and it can project all around, which means that the audience have to interact with these pictures and work with these pictures to see. Hariharan aims to make viewing cinema a more engaging and an exhilarating experience. The young boy who sat wide-eyed in the theatres of Mumbai has certainly come a long way. Digital cinema? That's the way forward, it seems. 
For me, it's like the gaming technology merging with the film industry. For film buffs like me, there's so much to look forward to in the coming years. Coming up, a nice dose of nostalgia and I'm actually also going to show you hearts in certain eyes. Now, I've got your attention with that. I knew it. Stay tuned.